Hi, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the tools and capabilities of the Doink animation and drawing app for the iPad. Let's touch on this octopus icon and bring up the app. Now you'll see all your drawings and compositions. Let's touch the new drawing icon and you'll get a blank screen. To bring up the tools, touch on this box on the left. Let's have a look at the tools available. You start with your palette. This is the basic palette and you could just choose a color. Or if you want to get more sophisticated, you can bring up the color wheel and select a custom color and then even change the brightness. The eyedropper tool allows you to reselect any color that you've used in the past. Then you go to the paintbrush. You could draw anything that you want freehand. Let's draw a stick figure. You can change the width of the paintbrush or the color at any time. And if I make a mistake, I can always hit the back arrow, which is undo. Or you can also go under the erase icon. Here's some of the other tools that set us apart as an animation package. Let's make some hair for the stick figure. You can use the fill button to color in the hair. What's really cool is the shapes in the shapes menu. You can pick a circle, square, or even a geometric shape. Let's make a star. And you could pick um, a circle from the shapes menu that we can easily make into a moon just by using our shapes modifying tool. You can zoom in or out just by pinching on the screen. And let me show you how easy it is to make this person dribble a ball. I'll use the circle tool in the shapes menu to create the ball. Then I'll use my transform tool to move the ball and also to rotate the arms. This is a flipbook style of animating. We'll show you in the next tutorial how to do keyframing. Then when I push play, my masterpiece will be all done. And all I have to do is publish it to the world. I go to the clips library where I can delete, preview, export, or edit this clip. When I go to export, I can export it to Doink, which will publish it to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or email. Or I can export it to iPad Photos, and the middle icon allows you to preview clips. Now it's your turn. Let's see what you can do.